You know, I never thought in many years I'd make another video basically replaying Mega Mix for like the third time, but here I am playing it for the third time because plus, I, I still like when it says 3 9. Oh, by the way, that was how I did the intro because <laughs> I was not about to hit start on there, but uh, there you go, there was the title. I never would imagine in years that we would have a PC Miku game. I, I thought that was an impossibility and I thought the Switch was like the big thing that Sega was going to do, but no, they put us wrong and they gave us a nice PC game with an option allowing us to end the game if we wanted to, which I'm not going to because why would I do that? And I can't believe I'm saying this, this actually looks cleaner design wise or like quality wise. This looks cleaner than that of Mega Mix. In fact, you can switch between Future Tone and Mega Mix. Oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. So I think I'm gonna start off with Future Tone since honestly, I do kind of miss that. And yes, I could just connect the PS4 to do that, but this is special. This is the only game that allows you to do that. And I hope it's updated on the Switch version. I feel like maybe they're not gonna update the Switch version, are they? Let me in. Let me in. You guys wanna see the best feeling in the world? When this jumps straight to rhythm game and there's no other option of mix mode. F mix mode that was the worst thing in any project diva game period let me show you the coolest thing this game does so we have playstation which is what i'm using because i'm using a ps4 controller it recognizes when you use a switch controller don't tell nintendo and the best part it recognizes when you have an xbox controller like it's simple color swaps but that is so much detail that i can appreciate it's actually amazing you know funny enough i feel like now that i mentioned that people will just beg sega for Mega Mix on Xbox. The Xbox doesn't sell well in Japan, but then again, it's Sega. We shouldn't be surprised. The only downside about this is that I can't set multiple things for one button. So let me show you, for example, uh, B, I have both the right and the uh, B button, which is circle in this case, which would be like A and whatnot. Because this is kind of focusing on keyboards, if you do it on controller, you can't really mix and match, as well as like uh, other games on console. So that's minus one point there. It's also weird that Lots of Laugh is on here and they lost the right to the art album? How is that even possible? I saw a post on Twitter. Oh my gosh, it's back. I missed this song. Oh, I wish they brought it back in Mega Mix, but it never did and it made me so sad. You know what makes me sadder is that they never brought back even Pope. It's still the tutorial thing. Maybe as an update, they'll do that. I will pay like $15 for this. I forget, I forget, I forget, I forget crap. See, I'm so used to holding the right trigger for the circle thing that whenever I do it and see the miss, it just throws me for a loop. And then again, so is talking over a song. I gotta say, the controls for this game are really smooth, uh, depending on the song. Like, this is not really entirely 60 frames per second, but like, it works very well. Man, I cannot wait to play the extreme version of the- This game is cursed me whenever I said extreme, huh? You know, if, uh, if past me that played Future Tone, Tone a lot saw that score, he'd be pretty disappointed that it wasn't perfect. But then again, I perfected that on the extreme. I'm actually curious how this looks in the Future Tone style. Which, by the way, that's the best thing ever, is that you can switch right off the bat. Oh my gosh, he looks good in Future Tone style! Sega, please, again, DLC we need for Mega Mix on Switch. Add a couple songs to Future Tone that were not even in that as well. Oh, I also figured out how you can get to the photo thing. So, uh, Lin is our good example of this. I think it's these two, right? Yep, there you go. This is how you access the photo mode, which I have never even done in Future Tone before. Although I probably don't want to do it here. That's more like it. Gotta get like the good angle for this. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. This is what we're working with right here. Though I wish this wasn't a Mega Mix style, not Future Tone. Oh, well, I should have done that. Wait, wait, why are there three different versions of cool... Is there three different versions of each of these? Oh, there's two of these and then... I never knew that. Why is there three different versions of cool? What? <laughs> what is this? This is like a profile icon thing. Uh, we don't need that. Whoa, okay, I did not mean to do that. Actually, you know what? Wait, did they stay on actually? Okay, now I have to, I have to know. Like, I, I want to play one other song that like everyone's going nuts about that I've only ever played in F. And apparently it was in the arcade, like the arcade cabinets of Future Tone, but never released on the PS4 one, which is even crazier to think about. One day I will get this controls right, but until the, look how fast that loads by the way. Lena like that, but let's change the hairstyle to this. That's better. That's probably faster than Future Tone, by the way. You know, having only played this in the F, I don't care if I actually miss that because I'm talking. This was cool to play an actual other song that was never released on the PS4. 
And for us, only on PS3, that's really cool. I know there was arcade cabinets in North America, but shut up. Not all of us actually experienced it. You know what, because I was talking a lot, I'm just gonna reset, that was stupid. Aw, oh, come on. How did I barely get great excellent on that? Hello? I'm like 0.19%. That's stupid. Hey, who wants to see the worst frame rate in this game so far? Look at that. That's beyond... That's under 30 frames per second. And it applies to charts too. Look at that. It's so bad as like Ms. Reed inputs. That's so weird. So uh, yeah, if I'm playing Skeleton Orchestra, it's going to be on the PS4 or Switch because I don't think my computer can handle it that well. Every other song, it can handle either really well or decently well, as far as I know. Like, I haven't tried Ghost Rule, but I'm pretty sure it can handle it that well. Actually, let's test that out right now. Oh! Oh, this one too, apparently. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. We'll see, though. Like, it's... Putting it saves and misses when I'm hitting it on time. I don't know if it gets in here, the clicking and whatnot. I'm actually pushing it, but it's kind of like a save or miss of the most. Yeah, if I want an actual challenge, like a good challenge on hard difficulty, yeah, I can play Ghost Roller or Skeleton Orchestra on this game, because, like, yeah, it lacks super well on my computer, that's for sure. Or laptop. Oops. Okay, so I just pulled up the, uh, the menu to see what songs are available in the DLC. Because, if you couldn't tell, there's DLC in this game, and it adds 72 of them. So, I want to see what's actually in the DLC. Or, what's actually not a Mega Mix, but also not a Future Tone. You know what? I'm... I was on High School Days, and then I pressed the wrong button. I want to try High School Days. I've never played that before. What's the recommended one? Hatune? That's a bit too obvious. Oh, good thing I stopped there. I thought it was going to pass that for a second, but we're going Ribbon Girl. That's a bit better. Now, I've never played High School Days either, so I'm going to see how this runs. Really well, and I got a save on the first note. Uh, that's a good sign. I do like the, the ape bit in this one. This is actually kind of neat. This wasn't also in Future Zone, like the PS4 one, was it? Was it only on Arcade? I think so. Okay, I said I wasn't caring that I was talking while playing the song, but like, this is my first time playing. I should probably not do that. Okay, why does this run so much better with the Make Mix than Future Tone? Oh no, I revealed my magic trick. That... I never even mentioned until now. So let's start a war in the comments right now. Future Tone or Mega Mix style? Sound off in the comments. I want to hear some opinions, folks. Okay, I'm on excellent. That's all that matters. Oh my gosh. I thought because I did so many saves because of my first time playing it, I thought it was going to get worse than that. But I'll take the 9191. Hey, that got me to rank 4. Not bad. Want to see the fastest loading time for any song that has modules in it? That's so fast! Look at that! That's so much faster than the Switch! How is that possible? Right, because it's PC. Uh, PC has more loading times. PC superior. Switch can never compete. I say it's the guy who wanted Mega Mix or Future Tone Switch! <laughs> How did I time that so poorly? I played this song a million times on PS4 and Switch. How did I suddenly become bad at this? My hand is still kind of wanting to pull the right trick for the circle, but like, I, my brain is like, you can't do that. Well, justice has been served. I have fixed the problem that was uh, the great on a five star. It is now an excellent. Oh yeah, I also got an achievement, feel the rhythm. I've actually gotten so many achievements when I first started the game. Cause like, I had the DLC and I was like getting all the, uh, the modules, which you just paid for that achievement, by the way. Real fast for this last one, or for the next few ones, I'm gonna do this on, um, on the Mega Mix style, because I think it runs a little bit better on my computer anyways. Well, let's do a extreme song. But that, I mean, one I haven't... Oh, you know what I mentioned? Catch the Wave. You know what? Let's do Catch the Wave on, a uh, on extreme for this one. That, that should be fun. So for only one note, Miz, that was towards the beginning. No, never mind, make that three. Because make that four because I'm fing talking. Let's get this part, baby. Just like all days. I almost got that actually, holy crap. Yep, and it's a great. Typical clear rate for most extreme songs that I'm very familiar with, unless it's the super bear excellent. In which case, I'm like 100% familiar with it, but I still mess up on notes anyways. Also, you can never unsee this, but um, look at the thing on her hair. That almost looks like the McDonald's logo. And now you're craving a really crappy Big Mac. You're welcome. Okay, I have to do at least one Lucas song on here, and I think which one, I know which one I want to do. Some of you might not like this one. Yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna hate myself later on too. Wait, why is it recommended for this one VF Suit? What? Why? Uh-uh, that, that doesn't work. We're gonna go... We're gonna go Ruby with this one. 
make it match. And then maybe we'll do something about your hair. Well, we'll give you the Blossom hair since I think that's the best hairstyle. Oh, look at that. My waifu into the best outfits she's ever had. Name one other waifu who can get away with these outfits perfectly. I'll wait. And while I'm waiting, uh, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that. Thank you. I can't wait to see EAE -E on the Mega Mix form. I bet it'll look really cool. Yep, yep, there it is. I love Mega Mix more than Future Tones style, just saying. It fits really well. Even the background is like too realistic for it. Then again, what's realistic about those trees? For like a split second, I was actually using uh, the arrows I realized. But this part's slow enough, we could just mash it. I forgot how weird this is, and maybe I should have done the Ruby one for the second one. Or mix both. Wait, where'd I get a save? Hold on, hello? You know, if I hadn't messed up that last part right there, I would have gotten at least an excellent. <laughs> the extreme path? Wait, what? What? Hold on, what's that achievement? No, I missed the achievement! Ah, oh, darn it, how do I go back? Oh, here it is. Also, I apologize if you cannot hear the audio because I've actually done it a different way. Uh, Clear the song over the game on extreme or extra extreme difficulty for the first time. Why did that show up when I played Ia Ia? Okay, so I want to do the customization because in, um, in Mega Mix on the Switch, you could do customize, but it's so difficult to do with the controllers, and we had to do something very traditional. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this is actually going to be way easier. Oh my gosh. Look, hold on. Let me, let me test this out. This is already better than the one in Mega Mix. Let's go. We have a tradition here. Uh, that's not big enough. The way I just draw this... And no one asked any questions. Although that could be a lot better. There, I gave it edges this time because it's 2022. If you know, you know. Now let's uh, let's fill this sucker in with some some blue. And why not? I'll give it a little bit of red on, on one of the sides there, to kind of to kind of make it edgy. Uh, sorry, mom and dad. And I I know you raised me better than this, but uh, I live on the edge. Talented fashion designer for this? Are you serious? All right, now's the time to find the most ridiculous hairstyle to go with this. The more edgy version of the tradition for every Make and Mix video. We'll mix, we'll, we'll mix combos. <laughs> Actually, that, that fits. I don't know why, but that fits so perfectly with the mask and the little and the little tea thing having like imaginary blood on it. The little white just fits. Never letting go of this. Although I will have to rework that shirt at some point to make it like something else. And with the mouse, it actually makes it a lot better. <gasps> you have a drawing tablet, you have a full on advantage. Yes! Oh, I'm ecstatic for this now. All right, I'm gonna do something really crazy for the last one. I've been trying to perfect Bring It On on console versions of Mega Mix and Future Tone with no luck. I'm wondering if it being on the PC is the main thing that's gonna make it perfect. Highly doubt it, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I'll let you guys know about the results. No! Oh my gosh, no way! I almost had it too! How did I mess up that badly? <laughs> Unfortunately, the tail is still nothing more than just a tail. The perfect I'm bringing on is still yet to be accomplished. But at least the good news is I've done much better than the last time, which was a 93%. I almost got it, but then I messed up so many times afterwards. So alas, the tail is still yet to be concluded. Speaking of um, perfects, though, I want to see where that stands. Whoa, there's local and global. What? Yeah, your boy's number two in local. Let's freaking go. Oh, that. Oh, 33. Never mind. That's still pretty good, though. Uh, what about worldwide with that one? 43. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to change, but like 33 locally and 43 globally is nothing to sneeze at for Catch the Wave of all songs. Overall, ah, this game is always a blast to do, and the fact that it's on PC now makes it more amazing. I never really got into PC gaming ever since, uh, I guess Among Us died out, but now with Mega Mix, I might explore more PC games. And maybe, just maybe a series about this game might come back, maybe? I don't want to say anything, but, uh... We'll see how I feel about that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video, subscribe, do all that. And uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to cry over the fact that I didn't perfect Bring It On yet because that percentage stings. And the fact that I haven't done it yet just makes me want to cry more on the inside. And with that, all of the sadness just goes away. It's like Luca has a magic stare, magic touch, magic everything. Luca is the most magical waifu on Earth. No one can argue with me about that.